discretion is advised. Roses are red, violets are blue. When the Sea Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses, catching cheaters one at a time, and it starts now. Yes, it does. And uh, this week we are helping. Uh, let's see, Julie. Is that right? Hi. Hi, guys. So, who are we going to be putting to the test for you today? Well, it's my husband's boss. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this just has bad idea written all over it. Okay, so your husband's name is? Pete. Okay, and who is his boss? Is it a guy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, and what's her name? Her name is Donna. Donna, okay. And I'm going to assume your husband has no idea you're doing this. No, he absolutely does not. Okay, so we're risking a lot here by testing out your husband's boss. I mean, don't you think you're, like, risking his job here? Well, she's not his big boss. She's just, like, one of the supervisors. Okay, all right. So why are we putting her to the test? Okay, last week I get this super long, intense Facebook message from this girl who works with Pete, who I, I kind of know a little bit. I don't know her very well. Okay. Um... But she told me that I need to be careful because I guess this Donna woman is like some kind of a nympho who gets <laughs> off on trying to get married guys to cheat. Like that's her thing that uh, she does. Okay. Um, yeah, she just loves to try to get married guys to mess around on their wives. And um, this girl tipped me off that Donna's been really flirty with Pete and he hasn't mentioned her at all. He hasn't told me any of this. Okay, so you think there's a chance she's going after Pete? Yes, because not only apparently, according to this girl, like, has she been doing the flirting, but also his hours have changed, um, and he's working completely different hours now, weird hours. Like, it seems really fishy, and I'm, I'm kind of worried. Okay, let me ask the obvious question. Why are we putting Pete to the test? Well, Pete knows about War of the Roses. I've told him about it before, so I I think he would know he would know immediately what was going on. And okay. Then, yeah. Okay, I, we, so you don't think this Donna woman would know? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I just okay. Learned. Well, why don't we try putting it to the test and see what happens here? So what we'll do is, you know, the female version of War of the Roses. This is where Ashley pretends she's from Victoria's Secret, and we're going to give this Donna. A free pantygram to send to someone. Then you're going to get to hear who she picks and what she puts on the card, okay? Okay. All right. Time for the two questions we ask every War of the Roses participant. Question one, are you sure you want all of this on the air? Yes, but I'd like to make sure that she doesn't know that Pete is involved in it in any way. Like, you know, like you said earlier, I really don't want it to jeopardize his, his job or anything. Sure. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, and question two, how certain are you that when we offer her this free pantygram to send to somebody that she's going to pick your husband? Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm hoping she doesn't. Um, okay. And I see in the email that you gave me two numbers here. Is, is one of these her cell phone? Um, one's their main office number, and then one is her direct line. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's try the direct line. Dialing at random. Good morning, this is Donna Pla Good morning, Donna. My name's Ashley. I'm calling from the promotions department at Victoria's Secret. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I'm calling is to let you know that your name was chosen out of our customer database for a free gift for the month of March. So congratulations. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think my name was chosen because I don't shop at your store. So, Oh, uh, you don't? Because I'm, I'm looking at your name right here, Donna P Well, I buy all my underwear from Adam and Eve, so I don't particularly like Victoria's Secret. Oh, well, that's probably what it is then. Um, actually, our company owns Adam and Eve, so that's probably how we got your name. Oh, wow. Are you serious? I never knew that. Um, okay, so what, I won something? Yes, actually, uh, we're test marketing a brand new item, and you're one of the first people who gets to try it out for free. It's called the Pantygram, and basically the way it works is we send the special guy in your life a pair of panties, like a super sexy telegram. And they come with a little note attached, and you can write whatever you want on it, like like on the note, anything you want. Oh, okay. So, like, a slip in my panties under the table at dinner kind of thing? Uh, yeah, sort of. 
Um, I'm sorry. Do you want to give it a try? It's absolutely free. It's not going to cost you a thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm not a big panty wearing type of girl, you know? <laughs> well, uh, you're not really wearing them. You're actually sending them to your man. So it's like a, a sexy reminder. So you could send them to him with a note that said, thanks for last night or can't wait for this weekend. Yeah. No, it's just, um, he wouldn't think they were from me because he already knows how I feel about panties. Um, it's just not, it's just not me that can I send something else? Sure. Uh, well, well, what did you have in mind? Um, well, like what kind of things do you have that involve butt play? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what play? Butt play? You know, like a d or a butt play. Like, can I send something like that? No, I'm sorry. Um, we don't really do that sort of stuff. We're Victoria's Secret. Yeah, but I order all that stuff from you guys at Adam and Eve. So you said that to you as well, right? Yes, um, <laughs> it is. But I'm afraid that's a different department. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I got to hang up. I just, I can't, I can't do this. The butt thing. I got to hang up. Just hang up. Okay. I, oh, my God. I, I, I'm so, I'm so sorry, Julie. I don't think that has ever happened to us before in the history of doing this. It's okay. I'm sorry. I, I just couldn't keep it together. Like, when she said butt play, I totally lost it. This morning zoo.